All right, what's up everybody? Um, kind of doing several videos. So yeah, I hadn't done any videos in a year, like I said before. Um, and I've made so many changes to the tank and have so many new changes that are about to happen that uh, I'm just going to kind of spit out some videos without doing a bunch of editing and all that other stuff. So as you see, I, uh, I got this carbon doser in. Um, I'm excited about this and excited to try it out because I have never run a calcium reactor. I've run Kalkwasser, which didn't really work for me. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting off topic, but it, it didn't really work for me because my tanks have never required the same amount of um, calcium and alkalinity together. They always take different amounts. Um, that was my previous 90-gallon um, tank, 120-gallon tank, and then the 35 water box I have in my son's room and the 100 gallon I'm setting this up on. They, they all take different amounts. So I've never, I've, I've just stuck with two parts so I can kind of custom tailor it to my needs. Well, the change of direction in this tank, um, I had a, uh, a lot of Zoas and soft corals and things. Uh, in the 100 gallon well when i did the reboot uh, i lost most of that and i saved a lot of the sticks and i've got them placed back in the tank but i've kind of made it well let me show you i've kind of made the tank itself um just not necessarily a pile of rock even though you could almost call it that but I've made it like one big island and I've made it almost the same height across the whole thing. And I did that thinking that I'm primarily going to focus on Acropora in this tank. So having said that, I feel like I'm going to add enough Acropora from what I've read that it'll probably benefit me to run a calcium reactor. So being a gearhead anyway i've always wanted to try one and i think i'm at the point now or will be i mean right now i've just got you know a few frags in here but i want to go ahead and set up a calcium reactor and just kind of test it and get used to it and all that type of stuff so in doing my research um i've got everything that i need on order uh, and all of it's coming in and the carbon doser is the first part to arrive. Now what's going to be, or what's cool about this, I've seen all, everybody that's a big name or everybody that does YouTube videos pretty much has the carbon doser, but they have the version one where it's their valve assembly and then the carbon doser, the electronic regulator built onto the valve. This is supposed to be, it looks like the same box. I hadn't opened it yet. It's supposed to be version two to where they now use a, however you want to say it. I hear some people say tunes. Some people say tunsy. Um, I just say tunes. Some people, um, you know, I, they've moved away and, and are using the, the tunes or tunsy regulator and then for the electronic control piece, they've added or they give you a separate box that you can mount away from the regulator. So I think that's going to be really cool. I looked on their website and checked it out. It's released everywhere in the United States. I haven't seen any videos on it so far. So I thought I'd kind of just, you know, show you what it's about and somewhat of an unboxing, really. All right, let me see. I'm doing this one hand with my phone, so bear with me. Let's get this open and see what it looks like. Okay. Yep. So I'm assuming maybe instruction manual. Okay, 
with the Tunzi pressure reducer or pressure regulator. So, you know, if you want to pause and read all that, congratulations, you purchased all this stuff. I'm not going to read everything, but the instructions and all, like how you set that up. Or if you have any questions, you know, you feel free to put in the comments and I'll try to answer them as I can as I set this up. Um, so we have line, we have <laughs> power, we have the check valve, let's see, and here's what I was talking about, this is all the parts that are different. So now, if you go on the bulk resupply website right now, they show the old carbon doser is unavailable and uh, or discontinued, but you can buy the, um, the Tunes or Tunzi regulator, but it doesn't say carbon doser on it. It actually just has their brand name still on it. But they're basically, you know, just working with them, buying this, putting their name on the front of it, but still giving them credit and shipping this with it. I did read, you know, in some of the forums that even though many consider this the best, um, best setup you can use, the carbon doser, the version one with a, uh, with a calcium reactor. Several people did say they had issues with the uh, regulator valve, you know, actually like leaking and, and some other problems with it. So I think that's why they got away from manufacturing their own maybe, and maybe they went to Tunes and partnered with them, but I don't know the, the case. I just know what I've read, but this is the new one. So version 2.0. So just an electronic controller so that you can set exactly how many uh, bubbles per minute or whatever it is per second that you uh, that you want of CO2 that you want to come out. So very simplistic, you know, an in and out and then power. And you can mount this wherever you want. So I'm very excited about this. Um, when the rest of the parts that I, when the calcium reactor itself and the rest of the parts come in, I'm going to do videos and go over those and what all I've bought. And then when I get it all put together, then I'll do another video and kind of show you the whole system, how I have it set up and how everything's working. I uh, appreciate you watching. Let me know if you have any questions so far. And thanks again.